talking to us from a city centre studio, what do you expect to happen on the floor of the House, both at the National and at the Senate Assemblies? And we cross over to um, Mombasa County and talk to our reporter, Tobias Chanji, about the decision by the government to open uh, some restaurants, uh, but to adhere to the strict measures that have been put in place. And uh, Chanji, good morning. Talk to us about probably um, how many restaurants we expect to be opened in uh, Mombasa County? A uh, very good morning, Brenda. I'm not in Mombasa County, but I'm in Mtuapa Town, uh, which is a tourism town in Kilifi County. And uh, a while ago, we've just been walking around to see some of the hotels that have been opened, but so far, uh, none has been opened. Remember that most of the hotels are saying that uh, uh, they had to meet uh, the precautions that was, uh, the, the rules, or rather the regulations that were set by the Ministry of Health. Remember also this uh, being uh, the month of Ramadan, uh, most of the restaurants here are owned by Muslims and therefore uh, most of them do not open during the day. Uh, they were supposed to be opening during the night but now with the curfew it is also still uh, impossible to, to do so. And most of the restaurant owners that we've been able to speak to uh, say the, uh, the fee is so exorbitant that most of them cannot afford uh, to pay the 10,000 fees uh, to, to get uh, this permit for the new regulations. Uh, it's only yesterday that the Kilifi County government started mass testing and it started with journalists and uh, health workers and who are yet also to get their results because they say there's been so much uh, traffic on the samples. Remember that uh, uh, the Kenya Medical Research Institute uh, have been uh, uh, it's the only one that is, uh, has been giving results for all the entire six counties, the coastal region, and so the samples are too many. But we expect that uh, now as Mombasa has acquired a new machine, uh, this will relieve to them. But now let me just speak to one of the uh, staff here of this uh, restaurant, Rongai restaurant in Mtuapa County, uh, to maybe just tell us some of the challenges that they are undergoing. Karibu katika maujani yetu, moja kwa moja, tuanza tuna majina yako, na utueleze, tumekupata unafanya usafi, sijui mnanuia kufa. Fungua yoteli siku ipi. E, paka ile serikali tafasema kumba. Kwanza na majina e, Kwa majina yetu wa Baraka Mgoya Ringa. E, mini mfanyikazi wa hapa Rongai. Mini mfanyikazi wa hapa Rongai. Restaurant. Hii kwa hii restaurant tutume, imefungua paka serikali. Paka serikali watakafasema kumba tufungue. Lakini kwa sahi tunaendelea na mbaya. Ya butcher tuna butcher do tunoza nyama. Sasa first. Kaso makijia lazima kuji hapa oshe mkono na sabuni, alafu wa kipu one distance. Lakini serikali likuwe mesema pia kuna masharti ambayo ya kitimizu wa bila shaka hii migahawa itaiza kufunguliwa. Labda mna nunuia kutimiza masharti haya? E, Tunanuia kutatimiza okay, masharti. Kwa sasa mnafanya nini? Kwa sasa sayi tumefunga tunahuza tunyama kwa buja pegele. Asanta sana. Uh, Brenda, those are sentiments from most of the staff here working in restaurants at Mtuapa Town in Kilifi County. And as you've heard, most of them were saying that uh, uh, it's been hard to open the restaurants. And uh, most of them maybe uh, just uh, selling as they used to, the takeaways. And uh, like these restaurants, they have a butcher section that they're only selling meat. Back to the studio. Chanji, thank you so much. Talking to us uh, from Kilifi County about the opening of restaurants following that decision by the government.